in Suzuki community, it's Myron's Jukes Off-Road. We're in the monsoon season, so it's really cool. It's about 110 every day, and then it rains, and about 80 degrees right after it rains, so that's kind of nice. Today we're going to be talking about a very, very big problem in the Suzuki community, and that's people that are rebuilding the T-cases and the Samurai, and they're not putting that back sealing correctly. So I'm going to give you some details today on getting that, that seal in the right place. So let's take a look at that now. So here's the problem, is that a lot of people put this seal in flush. And I can tell from this T case, this is why I grabbed this one, is that the person that put the seal in last did not do it correctly. You see there's a collar that goes in here, and this has to be depressed. Most people that are rebuilding their T cases don't pay attention. When they pop the seal out, they don't notice that it's deep. So there's a retaining collar to keep the oil in, and it has to go through both lips. So when you put the seal flush or just a little bit down like this fellow did, this is going to leak. It's not going to have both of the lips seal, and you're going to drive that tea case, and there's less than a quart of fluid, and you're going to lose that in a short period of time, and then you're going to ruin your tea case. So I use this one again to show you. And you can see from this, it is down deep, but it's not deep enough. Here's how you put it in deep enough. The seal has to go flush to the back edge. And here you can see that this seal has to go over an eighth of an inch deeper just to be flush to the back. So when you put this rear seal in, you pound it until it's flush with this back edge. That's how deep it has to go. So again, these are not flush, and they must go deeper than here. I go about a quarter of an inch deep, and then I look at it here, and if it's a little deep on one side, I just pound it back and make sure that it's flush with this back edge where the shim goes if you need a shim. That's very important to do that seal correctly. This is the first seal I'm going to put in rebuilding a T-case, and don't forget to grease inside the double lips. Always do that because when you have rotating metal and you have not greased then what happens is that you burn the seal out. One of the things I also wanted to talk to you about is that the gasket is a shim between the case halves. When you are putting this together you want to put it together dry first when you're doing your bearings and your gears. That's how when you're going to find out if you need a shim. Because if you only use silicone here, you're not spacing it correctly, and you can cause yourself a lot of damage in your tea case. So remember, the paper gasket is a shim, and it has to go in. That's when you're going to be pushing your input and your main gear back and forth and finding out if you need to get any shims to cut down that extra space. And so, again, I uh, just want to thank you so much for watching our videos. I'd like you to subscribe. Hit that bell and go wheeling. Bye everybody.